Neil Dutchin joins me now. Midsummer Murders continues tonight. Another case, of course, for DCI Barnaby. CCTV outside the post office in Swinton Magna. Lay on a few foot patrols. That should deter them. Sir. They weren't around for the zombie invasion in Finchmere. They soon got bored when they were barred from the local pub. I went out with a clown once. The most miserable man I've ever had the misfortune to date. But it's true what they say about shoe size. <laughs> Very <laughs> naughty, I like that. Neil, it's so good to see you. Lovely to see it you. It really is. Thank you for having me. 361 murders. Is that all? That's all that is. But been. that's in, but hang on, that's in, what is it, 20, 21 it's still years? still quite a lot. <laughs> you see, I don't think it is. People, there's a common <laughs> misconception <laughs> is that um, Midsummer, a lot of people say to me, oh, is there anybody left in that village? It'd Indeed. Be, it'd yes, be ridiculous yes, yes, if yes. it was a village. It's a very mm. large county that's about the size of. Sort of South Oxfordshire, Buckinghamshire, Berkshire, where we film. So right. I think it's a huge area. To, now, if you've only had, uh, what, 361 murders mm. over 20 years, that's 18 murders a year, that's, it's what, one and a lot. half a month? That's <laughs> nothing! More people are falling into threshing machines in the countryside than are being, than are being murdered on Midsummer. Oh, OK. It's a I'll... very, very safe place. I will take your word for it. Okay. And this one tonight, we're going to see Jason Watkins. Who's... Jason Watkins. He's a pal as well, which is really nice. Mine. Jason and I were at drama school. We, we met at drama school. I thought you were going to put up a picture of me and Jason from 1982 or something. No, they didn't have uh, cameras back. Back then. He did. Uh, <laughs> you've got, you might get an oil sketch or something <laughs> that we used to do. But it's all got a lovely sort of circusy theme. Yes, tonight, this, this hasn't episode it? is uh, is set largely at the circus. It um, yeah, it opens at the circus. Um, and I can't tell you, but something fairly awful happens yeah. quite early on. It usually does. Give, I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> uh, something happens and then, fortunately, Barnaby is soon on hand to try right. to um, figure out what... But, and this is what I have in common with him... Yeah. He doesn't... We saw it in What's that little clip. He does not like clowns. Yes, he has a fear of clowns, yes. He really does. So he's got yeah. a wee Achilles heel there. He does. It's a, stra it's, a, it's a slightly strange thing when you've been playing a character for sort of nine or ten years, and yes. then you get the next script and they go, oh, this man who keeps going to murder scenes where people have been butchered and there's yeah. body parts all over the place, you know, he sees a, a man in a sort of big wig and, and goes, oh, my God, this is awful. I know. Um, but do you hate clowns? You I, do, I do, honestly, they, they, they did a horrible thing to me on the show last year. Thanks, and look, I was chat, 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 chatting away. A bit... <laughs> <laughs> and I genuinely, <laughs> genuinely was terrified of them. But they are scary. <laughs> They are so it's not just so, so it's, it's not just you hate them. You're you're frightened of. They frighten yeah. you. I'm never interested in them. What, what is it that's frightening about clowns? I don't. I, they're just sinister. They're just... You can't see the face of the person. Maybe or something. is that? Yeah. I've not really analysed it because I'm too scared to. Well, but I you... just find it unsettling, deeply unnerving. But if you go into uh, what it's about, <laughs> it might sort of release that fear, and then you'd be free of it. Um, indeed. And then you can go to the circus. Well, it, no, I enjoy. can't. Cannot. Cannot do that. What I love about the series is the ingenious ways mm. that people are knocked off. Mm. I mean, the best. Obviously, nobody's ever going to top, or will they top, Martine McCutcheon and the Wheel of Cheese? Because well, she was killed a... by a Wheel of Cheese. Yes, she was. Yes, here she goes again. That's uh, that. We should laugh. Martine's getting killed, it's but this is quite funny. Popular, beaten to death with the Wheel of Cheese. It's <laughs> quite. Uh... Is a bit out there. Isn't it? Here it comes. Here it comes. The final. Da, 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 yes, da. Um, <laughs> yes uh, that is, that is one that people refer to quite a lot. One of my personal favourites, though, was um, there was an episode in which a man was found dead, tied to a tree in the forest, and his shirt had been torn open, and he'd, he'd been covered in truffle oil, and he'd been eaten alive by a wild boar. I remember that one. And that's one that I think... I, that's one of my favourites, cos it's so... I mean, you kind of go, person, cheese, bosh. Yeah, yeah. Is, it's, kind, it's, it's bizarre, but yes, it's yeah. fairly straightforward. But the... The sort of the, the strangeness of the mind of the writer who's mm. thinking up, I'm going to have a man tied to a tree, I'll yes. smear him in truffle oil, I'll have him eaten with by a wild boar. I mean, it's such a horrible way to go. And yes. so... That's gruesome. Such an elaborate series of thoughts to get to that point. That's a favourite of But mine. there's been so many, so many, so many. It's one of the things that people like about the show. It's, it's a sort a, of it's it's a, fun murder, isn't it? It's a brilliant show. It is a fantastic show. The testament to it is the fact that look at all of these people oh, look. that have wanted to be in the show. And when people are queuing up, look at these people. Yeah. queuing up to have cameos in the show, that's when you know 
yeah, your yeah. own to something. Well, actors like to work, and then these are all sort of young people making their way in the great business <laughs> of show, you know, and then somebody comes along and says, oh, what about Midsummer Murders? And they go, oh, yeah, all right. You yeah. bet, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. And we're still doing it. There's a, there's a young lady, you may not have heard of her yet, Ella Belinska, who was in uh, the episode that was on last week, I think, who, after filming with us, went off and is one of the three Charlie's Angels in the new Charlie's Angels wow. movie. So, so we're still... Go. It's a, Oh, they've gone. And no. that, isn't that showbiz? Oh, no, they're back. <laughs> That's show business for you, isn't it? One minute you're there, really? and then you turn and then around, bosh, you But you had your own sort of, sort of like brush with crime, and you, you got mugged when you were out with John Hanna, who I know John from school. <laughs> yes, we went to I school know. together. I know, I know. Yeah. Yes, we were. We were, um, oh, look at those lads. There. Who's that? Who are those tiny, are those small, tiny creatures? Those but you were, somebody things. tried to mug you, that was terrible. They, they did try to mug you, yes, they didn't really get away with anything. Uh, it was quite late at night, it was about two o'clock in the morning, and I think we were just out for a late evening stroll, taking yeah. in the air. Yes, like, yes, something a like small that. sherry, maybe. It was, it was tiny sherry. And, um, and I, the f a slightly funny thing about it was, as we were walking along, um, suddenly there were like three or four lads in front of us, and I kind of nearly walked into one of them. Right. So I then sort of said, oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, no, excuse me. Oh, and he yeah, was sort of stepping in front of me. So I was being terribly polite and saying, oh, excuse me, no, I'm sorry. And he was talking to me, and I said, what is it? You what? I can't... What do you want? And he was saying, oh, give us your money, give us your money, give us your money, or something. I was like, give me your... What do you mean, give... Oh, my God, we're being mugged! And I was suddenly sort of outraged. So, so I started sort of Jeez. abusing him and attacking him, and then his mate hit me on the head with a bottle and I took up a defensive yeah. position on were the you ground. Right? Were you... and, no, and then I came to a couple of minutes later what? with John st standing the over me, thing. slapping yeah. me in the face, and these lads had, had run off without getting anything. But then brilliantly... Um, this is where the sherry came in, I think. John, I think John said, let's go and get them. <laughs> don't, don't do so that. We, we went after them and we were sort of chasing around these um, housing estates on, um, in and South London. And they thought maybe this is not a good idea. Two o'clock in the morning, shouting for them to come out. And mercifully, they didn't. It's much, much, much safer in midsummer. Of course, it, that's what I say. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not as bad as it it's seems. No, is it? So on tonight, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And then it'll Watkins be back next the week circus. as well. Next week and, and, and going on, on, and on, for, on, and on forever and ever. Please hopefully. don't, please don't stop doing what you're doing. It's I'll, such a great series. I'll try not to. Thank you very and much. And I love that they showed um, they showed older episodes all over Christmas and New Year. It was a joy. You'd get up in your pajamas and then just sit and watch oh, it perfect. with a cup of tea. It was what great. A perfect image. Thank you. Thank you. Lorraine. Great to Thank see you. you.